Hi guys, what's up, Zach here. Today we are here with more Grid Autosport. And I've got to say something, which I'm sort of sorry about, because I accidentally deleted two of the videos which I meant to upload. Uh, I was trying to delete all of the Fraps videos, and I had all of the videos saved in the same folder, if that makes any sense. I had the, the, the Fraps videos, the Raw videos, and also the commentated videos. I had them all in the same folder, and when I went to delete them, I was a bit clumsy and deleted everything. So I'm sorry about that. But I will be getting up content from all of the series still. Uh, we're next, next going on to the tuner category. Three races in this one, not the usual four. Starting off at the, the Red Bull Ring with a, a sort of time attack event here. Five laps to try and set the best event. And you can see with Raisin, Raven West. Raisin West? Raven West. Um, to here today. Obviously in the first one we, I think we equal for first position. So a bit annoying in the one championship I do well in. I accidentally delete it, so yeah, I honestly want to be honest with you guys, uh, this one and also the street racing one I accidentally deleted, so I think it's this tuner one there now, the street one is the second video and then we go again into endurance on the third one and it also means that I, I haven't got, I didn't do a live commentary for these, I just wanted to make sure I get, got the videos done and uh, hopefully doing a post commentary might let me, you know, get through a couple of things, so yeah, a lot of great response on these videos, so I've got to say thank you to that, I really do appreciate that, it's really nice to see, you know, such a, a big amount of support on my uh, videos, uh, especially the group ones, I wasn't quite sure how they were going to do, but the, the grid auto support videos definitely did get a lot of attention, so thank you to you guys, uh, you know, a lot of people are also wondering why I put preview in the title of the videos, I think I might have already explained this, but it's pretty much just because this isn't going to be the full game, and we're not going to unlock the full game version through this so, you know, it sort of means that I'm not going to be able to continue this career mode on. So I didn't really want to title it as a career mode when it's, you know, I'm not going to be able to go past, you know, like 10 episodes. Because, you know, I'm not going to be able to go any further into the game. So I just wanted to be honest with you guys and put that preview in the title. Um, you know, that's just what I wanted to do. You know, obviously other people have other ways of doing it. But, you know, that's just, I wanted to do that just to make sure you guys knew that this wasn't the full game. And... You can see Red Bull Ring, it's not exactly the the hardest track in the world, but I'm not exactly doing the best. I'm drifting all over the place, going off the track where you know wherever I can. <laughs> Just, not really intentionally, but I'm all sliding all over the place. And I did something a little bit stupid here. Uh, you can see I've got my teammate on full attack mode. That means he's going to go really fast. And when I thought about it, it's like, why did I put him on full attack mode? Technically, he's a rival here. He's not a teammate. Because, you know, I want to beat him in the championship. So I thought... You know, after this race, I was like, why did I put him on attack mode this full race? Because it's just going to be faster than me, whatever I do. So, um, there's, the, and there's a drift event next, and then another time attack. So, <laughs> cheekily, for the last time attack, I was trying to get around the uh, X2000 there, but he sort of slowed up right when I went to get around him. Um, yeah, for the last time attack event, I just put him to, <laughs> I told him to go really slowly. Uh, but you'll see that when it comes about. So, a little bit down on this lap, probably partly down to trying to get around that S2000, which... It was uh, conveniently put in the way of us um, as we go across the start finish line now trying to get a slipstream that's not working out though now going to turn one and overall I've got to say Grudel Sport is looking quite good uh, you'll see in the endurance that I'm, I'm not really a big fan of the tracks they do at the start of the endurance uh, that's just personal opinion but I really didn't enjoy the endurance racing all that much just because of all the, the corner cuts that I ended up getting. You know, I understand getting a corner cut now and again, but I was getting corner cuts when, you know, if I did exactly the same thing as the AI, they weren't getting corner cuts and I was. So it's a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, it's got to live with that, I suppose. So I'll probably, if that's. <laughs> this is a bit cheeky doing that. I don't know whether it makes me get a faster lap here, but a little bit cheeky just flying back onto the track. You can see now I put him into defend mode. And I beat him by one thousandth of a second. I thought it was two thousandths of a second. A 49.92, and he got a 49.94, I think. But I don't know why it says a thousandth of a second. Maybe it's just, you know, ever so slightly um, to one side. But the Raven West colour is looking very nice on this Mustang, I've got to say. I was kind of a bit curious to see how the Mustang would go. I'm not sure what car I was driving the other time, but the Mustang, obviously quite a big car, quite a heavy car, and 
<laughs> We've got a drift event next, so I thought well, we might as well just do some drifting. That immediately took the lap away, seven tenths of a second took there, and then a penalty over the white lines. You know, I just I don't know what do you want, what do you do when you've got a penalty? Do you just get out of their way? Do you stick on the racing line? I mean, most people say, oh, get out the way, get out the way. I mean, but really, most of us would just get in the get in the way on purpose. Anyway, there we are. There's the whim, just by what a thousandth of a second. Uh, or 16, uh, no, it's not, was it, was it a thousand? No, it's 16, I don't know. Uh, anyway, going on to this next event here, this is Drift, one that I'm not very good at. Uh, the first time I did this Drift event, obviously in one of the deleted videos, I, I got knocked out before we even got to the sort of quarterfinals, because I think it's just, uh, like, 16 drivers, then goes to quarterfinals, semis, and then the actual final. But Yas Marina track here, doing some drifting in the three. Is this the 350Z? I think it's the three. Yes, yeah, the 350Z. Couldn't see. This is on the number plate, but I can't see the number plate because all the smoke. Um, anyway, 350Z. Obviously, I'm not big into drifting. I don't know a huge amount in it, but I think a lot of people do use 350Z. Or you know, they use a lot of Japanese cars in drifting. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I, I'd guess that's where Japanese. Uh, Sorry, that's where drifting originated was in Japan. Uh, a lot of uh, people, you know, like you see uh, drifting, a lot of them come from Japan. So, you know, I don't you know, I'm just getting myself into a spiral of not making any sense here. But, you know, it's nice to have some drift events in there just for the people that, you know, enjoy it. I mean, I'm not sure how realistic this is. I mean, I'm not sure how entirely realistic car control is, but I, d I don't know. Uh, that's. 839 point, uh, 839 something something something. So 839,000 points there in the first run. Now this is the second run. And here we go. I don't think the second run goes as well if I remember correctly. My problem is that you just, you can get it sideways, but you can never control it. Some well, it's hard to control it most of the time. But I guess that's the you know that's what makes it challenging is trying to keep the drift going. But I don't particularly think drifting is going to be the uh, the event that I stick to, just because I'm not very good at it. Uh, you know, you could leave a comment down below because this would be quite good for me to see what you guys actually want to see when the full game's out. What would you like me to like pursue? Because what I'm probably going to be doing is doing like one career mode through once. So, for example, I'm going to go from the bottom, of single seaters to the top, spot touring cars to the top, that sort of thing. What would you like me, you know, to do? Would you like me to do this, like a uh, not sorry, this isn't street, this is modified tuner. Uh, would you like to see tuner, street, touring cars, or open wheel? I'm not going to be doing endurance, I'll tell you that. I don't even know if that at the end there was trying to get some drift points, but I don't know. Got first though, weirdly. You know, Raven West 350Z, Z, 350Z, I don't know how you say it. Anyway, two runs down the quarterfinals, up against this, another 350Z, I think so. Can we do Raven West Proud and get them a couple of points in this championship here? I don't know where this is going to put me in the chat. Oh, they're off track straight away, and I've completely messed that up. Into what gravel they've got in Yas Marina. Just that tiny bit of gravel. I somehow managed to find my way into that gravel. And I felt that was going to be a perfect drift there, and it wasn't. Look at this, I'm just, I can't even get the car in a straight line to, you know, set up a drift and just. Yep, it's sliding, it's sliding, it's all nearly into the grass. Uh, Max Janssen's is the car behind. And pretty substantial hit to the, the rear left hand side of the car there. Get it drifting round. Come on! No! And that's round with another 180. Fail. Um, <laughs> so up to the start finish line. Only a 64% flow and smashing into the wall, not the wall, the sort of bridge thing there, that wasn't too clever. Right, so next up, we go on to the second run, and the uh, the other guy has already gone off, because it's one time you're the chaser, one time you're the person being chased, and I just can't keep this car under control, and you want to look at the results at the end of this, because they seem so unlegitimate, but um, I'm not going to complain too much, anyway, just come, make it a right mess of that. Sliding it and then spinning it. Getting it sideways. It's pretty good. No, it's not really that good, is it? Because I smashed into the barriers. But four star drift there. 
I'm sure people will get a lot of enjoyment out of this, but it's just really not my sort of thing, so I'm really bad at it. And, you know, I'm, you guys are going to tell me I'm bad at it, I'm sure. But it's just really not something I particularly am interested in and never have practiced in, so this is pretty much my first time. Actually, it, yeah, it must be the first time I've done a drifting, uh, a drifting, done drifting on a game since the Grid 1. Well, and, you know, Grid 2 every race, but... <laughs> uh, anyway, look at these results. There's someone legitimate. Look. If I'd scored that many points in any of the other heats, I would have got through with ease, but somehow I got get put up against the best person. Anyway, I finished fifth in the standings. It's not too bad. Only eight points behind the leader now. And we go back to a, an event which I should actually be pretty decent at, which is the time attack mode, and that should be around Indianapolis. I think the, the Grand Prix circuit from like 2006, 2007, you know that one. It's not the, the current day IndyCar... Uh, it's not that IndyCar one. Pretty much the, I think the IndyCar track is pretty much just a reverse of the MotoGP track. There are some slight differences in there. Me and my friend looked through the track and just spotted a couple of differences, but it's pretty similar. Uh, but this is quite different to the, well, the first half of the lap isn't really um that dissimilar and going off the track straight away i'm like oh my goodness straight away off the track are you serious and a penalty of going over the white lines i mean yes i did definitely did but i don't think i really gained any time from flooring over the grass did i, I had like no grip anyway you can see cheekily putting my teammate to go into full defense mode straight off the start and i'm running a me we're having a right mess of a first lap here really not good Leon Gardner. 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 I think Leo Gardner. Got. Okay. Leo, my teammate, is currently leading just because he's leading the standings. So he's put first on the track. And then I'm third. So I think we're in championship order here. So you can see there's Leo, then there's Zach, then there's me, and there's a penalty. Wow. Um, anyway. So third place. If I'd finished in third here, I would not obviously win the championship. I need to beat both Leo and Zach in this uh, time trial by probably quite a substantial amount, actually. I think I need to finish first, and they both need to finish outside the top five, really, for me to to win this championship. So it's not looking too likely, let's be honest here. Zach Lamb goes to the top of the timesheet. I go second. Less than a second behind Zach. Now down to third as Felipe Santos goes up to P2. Going to turn one though a little bit better. Still a little bit off the corner. But now uh, Matsu Matsumoto. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Hayato Matsumoto. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm bad at pronunciation. You guys know that. Uh, anyway, I'm down to fourth position here. But Zach Lamb still leads. And... Oh, sliding, sliding, keep it floor, floored. Oh, there's actually three cars in front of us, so I don't know whether we're in championship order or not. Maybe we're just in a random order. I don't know. But um, I think we don't. We, we do have, sorry, Zach and um, my teammate, uh, Leo. We both have, but both of them are in front of me, because I remember seeing when I get closer to them, because they're getting stuck up behind a slower moving car, and this is helping me out a huge amount. I'm not sure it's going to put me at the front, but oh my goodness, a penalty. You serious? Anyway, let's move on. And let's just keep on rolling. And overall, I've got to say, this was not a bad category. I really didn't hate it as much as I thought it would. Uh, no offense to anyone that liked any of the stuff in this, but I really didn't think I was going to enjoy it. But the time trial events I did actually really enjoy. The drifting, not so much, but I don't mind if it's only one event in there. Up to the start finish line, what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be an improvement? I think it was. But not by a huge amount, only by a couple of tenths. Still stay in fourth position and as it's such a long track, we only have three uh, laps of this. And you can see that Robert Sanchez down nearly ten seconds on Felipe Santos's time. Crazy stuff. I think Felipe Santos is the person behind me on the track. And you can see my teammate Leo is now down in 6th place. And uh, that is not good for him. And I think that's him in front of us here. If I remember correctly, I'm watching it on a smaller monitor screen here. So hopefully I can... Uh, hopefully... I 
think it is him. But does he go with wheel, rear wing? Oh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, but look at that. Uh, high thing. Hopefully that's how you pronounce his name. Still eight seconds off. Oh, that is not my teammate. It just showed the Canadian flag. It didn't show who it was. I'm confused. Penalty of the white lines. Are you serious? I think that might be... Who is it? Zach Lamb? I think it might be him. I don't know. I'm, I'm confused already. I'm, I'm yeah. Anyway, so final corner. Have we done enough? Four temps down. I'd put us third. Could that could actually still secure us the championship there? Third. Around the final corner, hugging the white line, hoping that might bring us a couple of temps back. All oh, my teammates up to fifth ahead of us now. Uh, up across the line. What's it going to be? It's going to be fifth. Exactly what we wanted, and obviously Leo can't improve, so that puts him out of the top five. I would have gone ahead of him, and uh, Zach Lamb finishes third, so quite close to the championship. Very close to the championship, six points separating the uh, top three in that championship. But overall, that's the end of season seven, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments you want me to talk about in one of these videos, leave it down in the comment section. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. We won the the Pro Tune Championship once again. But until next time, Spanax is about it. Goodbye. Have a look at the new touring championship you can enter this season.